Hello everyone and welcome back to Garrock Farms. Today is a super exciting day. You know, it's springtime, 70 degrees, perfect weather. And today is super exciting because we got new life on the farm. And yeah, if you guys guessed it, we got new chicks. I'll show you guys our setup and what breeds we have. So we got this sort of stand and we put it in our garage so that the temperature stays well and they're not cold because we already need a heat lamp which you can tell that they're enjoying they all are super happy they just came today and uh yeah we got them their food and their corn we got this is the type of chicken feed we got i could have just used the ground corn we have but I thought they they needed a little bit something more. Anyway, my brother Mason built this for the chicks, I'm pretty sure. And I, I just added these supports to it because it was really unstable. And uh, yeah, it should be a lot better for them now. We got, I think, 35 chicks. We got Bard, Plymouth Bard Rock. They're super good birds. Just overall, well-rounded, hardy. They lay good eggs and everything else. We also got some Orphingtons, just like regular golden Orphingtons. I don't know if they're called golden Orphingtons, but they are like a yellow gold. We got lavender Orphingtons, and they're uh, whitish, dirty gray, and they're actually pretty expensive. Hopefully, they are um, really good. And we have five special mystery birds for you guys to guess down in the comments what they are they are a, br a brownish color and they got a lot of f like feathers on their head this is also super 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 exciting because we're getting ducks and i can't tell you how many years we've been wanting to get ducks but every year there's a problem with their hatching or we can't get them because we only want five and we had to order a minimum of 15 but this year we just went all out and we said whatever we want to get ducks we bought 15 ducks we'll update you guys on getting those ducks later because they come in a week and which is good because they're going to be bigger than our chicks here these guys will probably stay in here for a week or two since there's so many of them and then we'll move them into the coop with still having their heat lamp and uh, their water and corn they're all bundled up there in the corner, relaxing. Leave your guesses in the comments of what that bird is uh, as these chickens grow up. And yeah, I'm super excited. I'll see you guys when the ducks get here. So it's a week later and yeah, the chicks and ducks have grown a lot. Especially the ducks, they're getting big. The chicks are getting their feathers, and uh, yeah, they're looking not not as cute anymore because, because they're growing those weird feathers. They're like teenagers at this point. They, they're they looking weird. It's time. We're going to move them in the duck shack that I just made. We're going to keep the chicks in there for a week or two, and then we're going to put them, we're going to get a divider and the chicken coop, put them in there um, so they learn that's their home. And uh, we're going to keep the ducks in the duck coop, of course. And, uh, yeah. That's the plan. I'm going to move them. And I'm also going to set up the duck coop. But, yeah, it's just time to get them out of this small uh, area. There's uh, 47 of them in here right now. Three died. One of the white runner ducks died. And uh, two golden Orphingtons died as well. I mean, it's life, always a few are gonna die. And I'm actually surprised that um, not more died, but of course, maybe one or two more here and there might die in the next month. But to be honest, I don't think really any more are gonna die because if they're gonna die, it's gonna be the first two weeks. Um, but yeah, they, they've already made it past that and they've been growing. Once they get their feathers, they're they're pretty um, immune to a lot of things. 
I'm gonna move them and uh, yeah I'll show you guys a bit of that all right so we got everything we need for the chicken coop we got the water and the feeders and the heat lamp um, but now it's time to equip the duck coop to be a nursery for these chicks for two weeks uh, I'm gonna grab another water because the ducks drink a lot of water yeah we're gonna set up all this quick so we can get the chicks down here so they um, don't freeze uh, I'm sure they'll be fine it's only gonna be like 10 minutes and uh, yeah we're also gonna get a piece of plywood on the front here of the door I haven't made the um, door yet but I'm just gonna put a piece of plywood there just for now uh, while these chicks are in here um, so yeah I'll get to that All right, so with the combination chisel and the screw gun here, we will, we were able to make a hole here, or I was able to make a hole um, to fit my cord in, and it works pretty, pretty well. And now it's time to hang the heat lamp up. All right, so we got a heat lamp hung up here, and uh, yeah, it's looking good. I'm gonna get the front door on and then the shavings. So we moved the chicks down here in a laundry basket. Thought that was the easiest way. And we'll put the shavings in. Chicken can swim, it's a duck. They look the same. Look at my bad little buddy. Look at how big he's getting. Yeah. This is the white runner duck. Oh, it's a brown runner duck, not a white runner. Well, it's a white slash brown runner duck. That's what you're called. Can you guess what these guys are yet? They're uh, starting to get their feathers. I think they're going to be happy in their new home. A lot less crowded. Fresh bedding. Keep this over here so it's easy to reach. I would throw the other one in here too. Yeah, and I'm going to get two waters because they drink a lot of water. So I got these two blocks here for ventilation but we also don't want any cats getting in so it's about the perfect height yeah. happy ducklings and six I need to put something there to hold it it's been an hour and it's all set up and yeah they seem really happy they're chirping a lot and they're moving all over the place. It doesn't seem like they're huddled in one corner like they were before, showing that it's like too hot or anything. It's it's just perfect. I mean, this is probably the most active active I've seen them been. This is uh, working out well, and uh, yeah. All right, I'll see you guys in two weeks. All right, so welcome back, guys. It has been maybe half a week. I know I said I was going to check in in two weeks, but we had a little incident. Our uh, ducks were uh, getting beat up by the chicks. And yeah, we, we learned our lesson and we moved them already. I didn't get it on camera because sadly I wasn't here to move them, but it was an urgent situation because uh, two ducks died because the chicks were pecking, pecking them. And I suppose... They just thought 
oh, I'm going to be the big, strong bird with the really sharp beak and go um, beat up this other animal that doesn't have, like, a uh, beak like that. I'm sad about it, and, I mean, but it's it's life, and we got to just move on. It's also a really great lesson learned to not keep them together for this long. The chicks have been doing great, besides from beating up the ducks. They're in the big coop now, and I'll go show you their setup. I'll go show you their crib. But first, we made some uh, changes to the duck's crib. So, uh, or house, or whatever you want to call it. But I like calling it the crib. It gives me like 2015 vibes, you know? Um, anyways, so we got the new addition. We got the bath. And uh, he's got, I mean, it's not deep enough from like the swim or anything, but they love it. They love it so much. I, I uh, we had it a little higher up, but I kind of sunk it, sunk it down in the shavings a little bit. It's going to get a lot dirtier, but they're going to be able to get them, like get in it. And I also had the water for them to drink water out of, and then their feeders, of course. So not much changed besides that I got the bathtub in there. But yeah, they're they're happy. They're they love this new bathtub. As you can see, they're all getting in it and tucking their heads in. These two especially really like it. And yeah, some are sunbathing and uh, heat lamp. And yeah, life is good for the ducks. Now it's time to check up on the chicks. All right, so we're here in the chicken coop now, and uh, we have this half wall divider that we put in to the chicken coop now uh there's not much to show anyway when we're putting this in pretty much just a couple boards screwed to the walls some chicken wire so uh the birds can't get the other birds also the kind of neat thing about this is we have this little hole down here that we wouldn't open um until these guys are a little bigger, and then we'll be able to let them outside and let them come in and out. So if they're getting like attacked by like a bigger rooster, which they'll do, they can just run to safety in here. And we also got the heat lamp, of course, the water, and we got two feeders. Um, now these guys might be wondering why they need more feed. Um, that's because, not only because there's more of them, the ducks aren't that interested in the food. I'll, I'll give them new food and water, and they'll go to the water straight away, compared to the chicks where they, they'll go to the food right away. So that's kind of neat. I mean, the ducks are an aquatic animal. That's going to wrap it up for uh, this chick video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, if you're not already, don't do it for me, but do it for the the ducks. They've been struggling. Just been picking on them. Please subscribe for the ducks. Even Mariska. Mariska wants you to subscribe. Right, Mariska? Yeah. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, see you guys later.